Hey guys, I'm Cody, the editor behind Past Life Pro, and for this tutorial, I have some Continuum V1.2 adjustments that I'd like to show you, which will allow you to use the Pultra Pier PBR 512X Alpha resource pack with all the visuals actually looking like they should. So, to get the point across, if you decided to disregard this video and simply load up the Pultra Pier resource pack with the Continuum V1.2 shader, this is very likely to be your end result. Observation 1. You got lines in your blocks. Observation 2. It is really hard to see any amount of 3D effect. And believe me, on these bricks, you should be seeing at least something protruding outward. So, in this tutorial, we'll be taking care of both these issues. My friends, let's get started. First, I have the Continuum V1.2 shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. As for the resource pack, we won't be messing with it, but I just thought it best to have it somewhere on the screen, since it is so important. Okay, access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate gbuffers underscore terrain dot fsh. Use notepad plus plus, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 39. By default, the number directly after texture pack resolution is set to 128. Basically, if you have lines in your blocks, it's best to go here. If the number is not the same as what your resource pack describes, then it's best to change it to what it reads. Example, Pulture Pier PBR is a 512x resource pack, so we'll be changing the number to 512. Alright, last adjustment. Scroll down to line 220. So, at the moment there is close to no noticeable 3D effect, or at least it's very subtle. To increase it, simply add a higher number. As for my taste, I will be going with instead 2.0F. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. Alright, if you have any questions on any of this stuff, or perhaps you may be having some other type of issue, whatever it is, leave your comment in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do to help. If this Continuum V1.2 Adjustments tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life as will be for yours. All right, see you guys.